What's up, Chase? What's up? Say hi, Chase. Hi, Chase. Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. All right. Now I'm going to bring the mic over to my colleague, animal care specialist and animal trainer himself, and he is a part-time supermodel, Mr. Ian Garden. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. As Ryan just mentioned, my name is Ian Garden, and I, too, am one of the animal care specialists here at Camel Kingdom. I'm also an animal trainer and presenter, but most of all, I am an animal lover. How many of you folks out here are animal lovers? Yeah, that's what we want to hear. Now, what you're going to witness is what's called a liberty routine. These guys are going to perform a series of natural behaviors based on Chase's body movements and voice commands. Now, some of you may be asking, why the whips? Well, these are nothing more than an extension of his arms. Now, let's get started by introducing all his family members. First in line is Jem. Number two is Sparkles. Number three is Diamond. He is the largest camel in the entire herd. And last, but certainly not least, is Sapphire. These are America's show camels. As you can see, Chase has just called them up into line. These guys are rare Snow White camels. There are only about 400 in North America. Now these guys are six years old. They will not mature until they are about eight, eight and a half. As I mentioned earlier, Diamond, the largest in the herd, he still has two, two and a half more years of growing. His hump is now about eight and a half feet tall. So the likelihood is when he's fully mature, he's going to reach over nine feet. He is an absolute giant. Now Chase is going to call them back in the line once again. We're going to put Diamond back in place. Alright. Here they come. Once again up in line. Now Chase has been with these guys since they were three weeks old and has bottle raised each and every one of them. So you can't say he's kind of like Papa to these guys. Now, I bottle raised chicks, so I guess you could say I'm Papa to him. That's right, he is my son. He is fourth generation animal care specialist, trainer, and presenter. Now, right now, we call this Noah's Ark, and you can see why. It's just like loading animals on the ark two by two. And don't be afraid to make some noise out there. They love to hear it. These guys are real divas. Yeah. There you go. Chase doesn't mind the applause either. All right, now this next one is called the cutback. Probably the most difficult when training camels because they are extremely herd bound animals and don't like to be separated. So as you can see, he's taken diamond and sapphire change them the opposite direction, separating from the front two. Now because of their trust and confidence in Chase, he makes it look extremely easy. All right, they're going to pass each other once again, and then Chase will turn them back in single file fashion. Alright, now this next one we call the clock. Chase is going to take all four camels, stopping them in different positions around the ring, kind of like the numbers on your clock at home or your watch. Okay. 
All right, first is Sapphire. Next is Diamond. And now Sparkles. And last but not least is Gem. All right. Now get your cameras out and ready.